What is the issue this morning? I, I, I don't ask this in a snide way, Kevin, mm -hmm. but if I look at the Times, if I look at the Post, if I look at Bloomberg, there's this jumble of like six things. Are you going to tell me tax reform is what counts? Well, some top Republicans in the House are going to meet with President Trump today at the White House to discuss tax reform. Uh, and that'll happen. I, I think we're anticipating remarks from President Trump in the 12 o'clock noon hour. Uh, but meanwhile, Graham Cassidy is dead, as we've been yeah. <laughs> saying for, yeah. for the, quite some time. Uh, so health care tax reform still following the latest developments on that front. Uh, clearly, the president wants to try to get uh, tax reform going, and, and we're supposed to get some new details on okay. that today. But for the big six, these six guys that got in a room mm -hmm. with a suit and tie on and, and all that, is their definition of middle class anybody who pays the alternative minimum tax? <laughs> Maybe. We'll have to wait and see. I think that a lot of folks here in Washington think that we're just going to have permanent tax cuts uh, by the end of the yeah. year. The, this big sweeping plan of comprehensive tax reform looking increasingly unlikely. You know, I, I look, Kevin, at, at what you're confronting with Republican power. Give us an update on the power of Senator McConnell, the Senate Majority Leader, and also the Speaker of the House. They've been really pushed uh, to the sidelines. We've got an Alabama vote tonight. But what would their power be Wednesday morning and into October? I think that Senator John McCain really has, has shown that he's got more power than Leader yeah, McConnell at this point, exactly. simply because of, of Graham Cassidy. Look, Republican leadership ever with McConnell, with, with Ryan, uh, has, has <clears throat> greatly somewhat diminished in terms of what they're able to do because the president has kind of thwarted them around a bit. Does anybody care in your circles, Kevin Cirilli, about what the fiscal deficit is doing, deficit to GDP? Douglas holtz eakin says it could go to 5, 6, or 7 percent of GDP. Does anybody care? Chairman Jeb Henserling does at the House Financial Services yeah. Committee. And I'm actually hearing through the grapevine that there might be uh, a new bill put forth on uh, fiduciary requirements okay. to get real wonky uh, within the next 48 hours.